What's up guys? Today I wanted to talk about Black Ops 3 since everyone's tweeting me about it and everyone's talking about it and I'm super excited for it. And they've been doing a ton of marketing and advertising for the game, hyping people up, and recently a lot of info was leaked. Like the fact that there will actually be a beta and the game comes out on a Friday instead of on a Tuesday. And there will be co-op campaign this time, Treyarch Zombies with its own storyline, and the movement system in multiplayer, which may be good or bad, because a lot of people seem to not want exosuits or anything to do with them. Basically, there's plenty of info and tons of speculation going around, and the official reveal trailer isn't even out yet until tomorrow. Black Ops 3 hype, yeah, I'm excited for the trailer. So I'm not really a COD news channel. I don't make a video on every single piece of news. I just wait until a bunch of new stuff comes out and then discuss it with you guys and inform you guys in case you don't follow the latest COD news. So I think the two most important things to talk about right now is the beta and the multiplayer movement system, which is not EXO's, but it isn't normal movement. The fact that they're going to have a beta is really good for us, the players, and can either be really good or bad for Treyarch and Activision. It's good for us because we get to try out the game and help fix it before its official release. If there's a gun that's clearly overpowered, and there always is, Treyarch will fix it before the game is out, and some guns, nades, and streaks might need nerfs or even buffs. Maybe you'll play the beta and not like the game at all, and then you won't have to worry about wasting your money on it. To participate in the beta, you will have to pre-order the game, but you can always cancel it if you don't like it. And people will either like the beta and it'll introduce new players to the series, thus help sales, or people will be turned away by the beta and hurt sales. I really want to play the beta because obviously I want to play the new COD as soon as possible, and I'm really anxious to try out the new movement system. Basically in Black Ops 3, there aren't exos, but human modifications or augmentations or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like cyborg implants for certain limbs or even eyes. The official description for the new movement system is, with Black Ops 3, Treyarch premieres a new momentum-based chained movement system allowing players to fluidly move through the environment with finesse using controlled thrust jumps, slides, and mantling abilities in a multitude of combinations, all while maintaining complete control over your weapon at all times. So, what do you guys think? I think it'll be more similar to the traditional movements than exosuits. I'm pretty sure the thrust jump is more of a slightly higher normal jump that is used to get over walls faster than just pressing a button to climb them. It says you'll have complete control over your weapon at all times, so they're pretty much making Black Ops 3 faster paced without everyone just jumping around and dodging around. It's all just accelerated movements, kind of like dexterity in Black Ops 2 that lets you climb faster and how there's an auto mantle feature in Advanced Warfare. It makes me believe that Black Ops 3 will be run and gun like the other CODs rather than jump, run, dodge, jump, get turned on, hashtag wrecked, play style like in Advanced Warfare. But anyways, that's all for today. Make sure to hit that like button in the face if you're hyped for Black Ops 3. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, so make sure you comment below and make sure you subscribe to join the Wolf Pack. I upload a new video every single day. Ow! Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.